doing the shit that I do. Oh, yes. I, I kill all this shit just because. Mm. I kill all these niggas for fun. Mm. Mm. Like, what up? It's been a little bit since I put something in this here journal. Let me say something, man. I realize what my uh, what my calling is recently. It's to teach. It's to motivate. To get people to think. I, I do pretty good with that. I'm a people person. I'm a people watcher. I'm a humanitarian to a fault. And um, but whereas I could look at something like that as a fault, it really isn't. It's my calling. Now, that's not to say that I'm going to go and start preaching, but I'm also not saying I'm not above that. You know what I mean? But I realized that, you know, when I when I get out there and I use my head and I share it amongst the world and give it to the public, people respond more to that. You know, like just a couple of days ago, I did a show and I put up, uh, it was about America erasing its history. And it was based off an experience that I had, that I went through at work. And boy, I got a huge response from that. So I turned around and I did another show where I basically responded to the people who responded up to a point. It was a lot of responses. So I just took some of the key ones and put them up there. And I got a lot of views from that as well as I got some subscribers for that. And it's funny because the original Ink Chronicles, Benjamin Brothers program, The Adventures of Inky Man, Yankee Man Show, all these things that they try to build an audience. And I think that I'm a pretty funny guy. So I figured, let me make a show where I'm just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Just stuff that comes off the top of my head, a little impromptu, funny stuff. But I seem to appeal more to people when I'm talking about something that we can talk about. So I think I'm going to go in that direction with the show. You know what I'm saying? You know, one of the things, too, is that, uh, you know, I had this 46-pound challenge that's going on. And even though it started with me and someone else, you know, kind of fizzled out between the two of us. But I still stay on top of my weight for the most part. And I've been slipping. So now you're seeing me eating raw tuna with some ranch dressing and some spinach. I'm going to get back down, man. I'm going to get back down to my weight. I'm starting to feel... Like I'm losing energy, kind of losing my drive. I was losing my drive doing the show. You know, and I think all that has to do with my weight and the stuff I'm eating. That's what I think, too. So I had to change that up. Here I am. Damn near butt naked in front of the camera for your enjoyment. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, oh. So now... I have a few places I'm thinking of moving to. Now, Atlanta still seems to be the place I want to go, get into. So I'm actually fly out there and I'm going to go check that place out. See what's cracking out there. You know what I mean? Um, everything keeps it keeps pushing me to go that way. You know, but then there are things that are popping up around here, out here in Massachusetts, that, that are not as popping as the Atlanta idea. But I can at least get to them and see what they're about while I'm here. Um, but I'm going to take a trip out of Atlanta for the weekend, probably like four days. You see what that's all, all about, man. If I like it, I'm there. You know what I'm saying, baby? It seems to be the place for me to go ahead and get out there and get on my feet. The cost of living is cheaper. The hustle is great. Just got to get out there and do it. Make sure that I focus on myself. You know? Buy a little house out there. Get on the road. Step up in the show arena, which is also stepping up in the business arena. That's what I'm going to do, y'all. By the time y'all see this, I will have done that. So you have to stay tuned to either the show, Linky Man Show, or this to see what happens. I'm going to send a big shout out to my man, Bob T. He knows who he is. He watches my show. Him and uh, FT, his daughter. I love y'all. Y'all have been by my side with this 
Pinky Man Show stuff. And I really appreciate y'all. I really do. You guys make me who I am. Other people do too, but I want y'all to know you make me who I am. Appreciate y'all. We will see see one another. We have to. Other than that, I'm going to go on out again and finish off this little chicken joint. And this unsweetened tea. Y'all be good, man. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned.